This one might make you a little hydro happy. Here's the time of hydration! What's happening, guys? Hope your day's going well. Today, we're going to review Tonificare Hydro Light. It might hydrate you if you're sad and then make you happy when you're hydrated. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Anyways, I'm in one of those moods. Don't if I care. Hydro Light. We're going to go over the ingredients so you know what you're putting in your body and go over the effects on this bad boy. If you're new to the channel, you like stuff like that, hit the subscribe button. Love to have you along for the ride. So this is a hydration formula. But just keep in mind, any hydration formula out there, you need to have water in your body in order to be hydrated. So if you're not drinking enough water and you're dehydrating yourself, something like this is not going to hydrate you right away without water present. So make sure you're drinking enough water during the day. So jumping right into this, we have a neat little thing here. We got 20 packets, small little travel packets in this bag that they send you if you buy this. I think it's a neat idea. So individual packets, you can take it into the gym, you can take it to school, uh, take it to work, whatever. You open it up anytime, pour it in some water, pour it in your mouth. Like that's what I do pretty much. And the flavor on this thing is cucumber lime aqua fresca. And flavor is really good. So this is only flavored with stevia. Very small ingredient profile, a healthy ingredient profile. And you do have that stevia taste to it. It's a light formula. So for those that are taste sensitive, you will have that stevia. At, like not, It's not really an aftertaste because nothing lingers around, but it's there. Like it's the hint of it is in the background. But the lime and the lemon and the cucumber hit on this thing is really, really good. They did a good job on that. So jumping right into the ingredients because it's a big profile here. I'm just talking fast because I want to get through this and give you guys the information. We're going to put the ingredient profile right in front of me. We've got vitamin C on the top here, 100 milligrams. This is great for endothelial tissue, collagen production in the body, neuron and myelin sheath repair, which is on a cellular level. There's all kinds of different things. I like vitamin C in uh, pre-workouts and uh, formulas like this, especially at low dosages, 100 milligrams, just to kind of like Get it in there, complement the other ingredients, and hopefully have some effects if you're deficient in it there. Then we got some B3, some niacin, 30 milligrams. This helps with dopamine and serotonin production, but also with NAD production in the body. So good ingredient. Then we have vitamin B6 here, 2 milligrams. I like that it's a low dose of B6. I think we over kind of over... Do the B6 like at night, during the day, and pre-workouts and stuff like that. But B6 is actually another cofactor to neurotransmitters, dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, serotonin, and GABA. So it's going to complement, you know, like the health of the brain. Then we have vitamin B12 at 300 micrograms. I like B12 for energy production. And this regulates homocysteine in the body. It's a cofactor to GABA, dopamine, norepinephrine as well for cognitive function and health. It also helps with the metabolism breakdown of carbohydrates and fats within the body. Then we have pantothenic acid here at six milligrams. So this is gonna help with electron transport in the body and energy production within the Krebs cycle. So I like it, it's a good ingredient. Then we have calcium at 50 milligrams. Calcium is gonna help with your contractions. It's going to help with the binding of the actin and myosin fibers within your muscles. So we need calcium just moving around and completing our day physically. Then we have some phosphorus at 49 milligrams. Phosphorus is used throughout the body for energy production and it binds to ingredients. Uh, creatine, for instance, binds to creatine. So we have creatine phosphate within the cells and then that phosphate molecule helps with the production of ATP within the millions, hundreds of thousands of mitochondria within our body. So good ingredient. Then we have some magnesium at 100 milligrams. And magnesium helps with cramps by blocking calcium. So when the body needs to relax a muscle or to relax a contraction, it releases magnesium in order to complete that there. So good. Then we have some zinc in here at uh, 2.4 milligrams. One of the minerals that if you research online that we are, as a population a whole, deficient in. So zinc is great. I like zinc because it's an essential mineral and uh, zinc helps with the uh, enzymatic processes within the body. So we need zinc for hormone production, for other actions that are done by the protein enzymes in the body. Then we have chloride here at 290 milligrams. Sorry about that. The light shining on this weird. And some sodium. At 232 milligrams. Those are both from the pink Himalayan salt. The sodium is going to help with uh, hydration. It's also going to help with 
the uh, fibers and the contractions of muscles. It helps with ion signaling between nerves because sodium ions in the body actually send messages and energy from here to there, from here to there. So great ingredient. Then we have some potassium here to end it off with. 241 milligrams. So potassium helps with nerve signaling across the muscle fibers. So when we signal throughout the body, let's say we're going to do a lift, uh, potassium is actually released and it's used within the nerves, within the muscles to actually send signals across to release calcium and help with magnesium, contractional, actin myosin fiber activation, stuff like that. So jumping right down into the good stuff here. Hydration complex, L-taurine, 1600 milligrams, 1.6 grams. L-taurine is naturally produced by the body. And what it does, the main thing in a hydration formula, what it's going to do is it's going to regulate electrolytes and hydration or water within the cells. Keep it balanced. So if electrolytes become low, it's going to try to move electrolytes into the cells. And if water becomes low, it's going to try to move water in the cells. So it's a regulator, main regulator for that. And for training purposes and for hydration, it also regulates our core temperature in our body. So great ingredient. A lot of other different things that it does. I'll put a card. Uh, up top to some shorts that I did if you guys want to go check out the other actions of taurine then we have coconut water powder 500 milligrams great ingredient this has uh, minerals electrolytes in it and it helps with inflammatory responses it has healthy fibers in it it has medium chain fatty acids in it for energy production and the main minerals that it has in it are sodium magnesium calcium potassium and some more phosphate there you go then we have Pink Himalayan salt, 500 milligrams. We already talked about the sodium in that. But pink Himalayan salt has more minerals in it, which is calcium, magnesium, and uh, potassium, I think, in it. Maybe one more. Sorry, brain, just had a brain fart. And then regular table salt, and it has less sodium than regular table salt. So that's why in pre-workouts and some of these formulas, they use pink Himalayan salt, especially if they're going above that like 20 milligram dose for the sodium intake to give you sodium, but be less of a hit than regular than using regular salt itself. Then we jump into the energy and absorption enhancers here. Ancient Peak, Elev ATP or Elevate. We have 150 milligrams. That's the efficacious dose. So this is supposed to promote uh, NAD production in the body. This is a fantastic ingredient. It is a ancient peak and apple extract. And this has carbon, magnesium, hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur. There you go. And the way this works is it regulates NAD production or the way NAD works in the body. And NAD is used for cellular energy, the production of ATP, bringing, uh, bringing energy in, bringing energy out. And a fantastic ingredient. 150 milligrams is the dose that they used in all the training studies, I believe, for the endurance purposes, the recovery purposes. They even had some muscle gain purposes there where they had some responses where people gained lean muscle mass. I find it hard to believe, um, but... You know, if, they, if it did, it did. Other than that, I think it's more important on the energy production side for this particular ingredient, especially for in this particular product. Then we have Synactive, 50 milligrams. Love this ingredient. So if you guys are worried about, worried about senescence in the body, let's say you're getting older, uh, and you're worried about how the body, you know, gets rid of old cells and damaged cells and also reproduces and repairs cells in the body, Synactive is a fantastic ingredient. I'm glad to see it, you know, coming out in more and more EAA formulas and like uh, electrolyte formulas like this. Not much. I don't think there's much for it to be in a pre-workout, but recovery purposes in recovery formulas, I think it's a good idea. 50 milligrams is the efficacious dose there. So you're great with that. And you can take two of these packs a day. So even though like the efficacious dose is 150 for, for uh, Elevate, and Synactive is 50 milligrams, you can double that and you're going to be fine. These are healthy ingredients. For those that are going to ask the question, can I take more than one pack a day? Then we have some estrogen here, 25 milligrams. So this is a Nato Ginseng, Panix Nato Ginseng extract. And it's been extracted to like ginsenocides and stuff like that and formulated particularly for inflammation purposes, especially in the gut and digestion purposes. It's a fantastic ingredient for digestion amino acids, but it helps with omega-3s, and I think I said in my previous video, CBD, and all different other uh, things, minerals and stuff like that, as far as enhancing the absorption of everything. So, Tonificare, Hydrolite, how did it do? Stop babbling on, Dave, and get to the 
point here. So my my effects on this. Um, so recovery is good on this, uh, but like I said in the beginning. I think a lot of hydration formulas out there, what sets this apart from another hydration formula is it's stacked. So there's not too many of them that are going to have like all these ingredients in it. Of course, I haven't taken every single one. But the way they formulated this as far as for energy production and recovery, plus the minerals in this and the way they use the B vitamins, uh, the hydration formula uh, ingredients in here, the taurine, the pink Himalayan salt, and the coconut powder, I think there was, were great uh, choices to use here. I like the combination of Synactive and Elevate. I really do for ATP production and cellular repair. And the vitamins that they put in here are all pretty much, you got, you know, cellular actions, whether it's neurotransmission, brain health, stuff like that, the minerals, the calcium and stuff like that. It's all for recovery. I think they did a really good job on this. I'm not going to say that like I was wowed with recovery. I was wowed with strength gains because that would be just ridiculous for me to do a video like that. But I take this and I do feel a kick of energy, a kick of an awakeness. I feel good. I feel energized. To, to go and do things and that's a lot of that could be from the you know like all the minerals and stuff in here and i'm i might be lacking it i work my butt off um the energy production from la L, L of atp so i cannot say because i honestly haven't taken the green on its own i've taken a lot synactive a lot i like synactive synactive i actually feel recovered i feel better when I have supplements that have synactive in it ea formula stuff like that i just know that it does something for the repair and just the feeling good on the cellular level. AT, uh, Elevate, Elevate TP, I haven't taken on its own. So I haven't been able to like test it out. Uh, and I can't tell you that, hey, I, I had tons of more energy on that, but it has it is a proven ingredient through multiple studies to actually increase uh, ATP production within the body. So I don't know what else to say about this other than flavor was really good for being a light formula. The extra ingredients in this, as far as the way they, they put this thing together, the one thing you have here are natural flavors and stevia extra, extract and just a binding agent, the silicone dioxide. So very healthy formulation through and through from the ingredients to the extra ingredients in here as far as the makeup of it. Um, Flavor was good. Uh, recovery felt good. I feel good every time I take one. Uh, and that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm not going to really beat beat it down. What do they call it? Say beat a dead horse, you know, uh, to actually get the point across. But uh, hydration, endurance, uh, they're not lying about anything. I like that on there. And I appreciate them for sending it my way so I can review it for you guys so you guys can see what these things are all about. Other than that, i got to get going back to work. Oh, crap. I got to clock back in. So we'll see you next time on the channel. Bye.